I always had a conflict to be an engineer because I was good at the math and physics or being an environmental activist because I care about the environment. Finally, growing up in the Middle Eastern country made me an engineer, but environmental problem still was my concern. When I came here and studied my PhD, I found that, that I can be an engineer and at the same time do something affected for the environment. The key was renewable energy resources. Renewable energy resources generate power and distribute it throughout the power system, so that's why we call it distributed generation or DG in short. This new technology can change the world. They can reduce the, po the pollution from our planet, but like other new technologies, they had cons and pros. One of the main disadvantages of this uh, technology is overvoltage problem which happened due to the reverse direction of power flow from DG to the substation. Traditionally, voltage control devices such as voltage regulators and capacitors are used for the voltage control problem. But when we added DGs to the test system, we cannot control them because they're going to uh, have a chaos in our system, they're going to have an unwanted change. So we need to adjust our control method. My research focusing on developing new control methods for the coordination among DGs, voltage regulators, and capacitors. In my last research, we developed a new control method called the unified method to control voltage regulators, capacitors, and DGs at the same time by using the same index, which is the reactive power generation by each DGs. This control method can determine the number of the taps for voltage regulators and capacitors, it can determine the, which voltage regulators or capacitors should act first, and also it can determine the reactive power generation for each DGs. We have implemented this control method on the several test systems, and we got a significant result. As you can see on the slide, we, uh, after we add our control, we have a, a unified voltage profile, which means that we keep the voltage inside a specific threshold, and also we minimize the number of the taps for the voltage regulators and capacitors, which extend the life expectancy of these devices and has an uh, important uh, issue for the uh, power system economy and uh, for the environment. So I had a dream to do something for the environment and I did it right now and I'm standing here and I believe that everyone with this view can do something for the environment. They just need to find the key.